Now, when you stop, think about it, and analyze it, and study it, you'll find out the Bible is the only book in the world that lets a man know absolutely for certain where he's going when he dies. We hear this, this talk about other religions and other religious scripture and this and that, but other religious scripture from all the other religions of the world have one thing in common, and that is the fellows who wrote them don't know what they're talking about. And the proof is they can't let you know where you're going to go when you die. Now, we had in this building here this morning uh, four or five Mohammedans and two or three Confucianists, a couple of Taoists and four or five Buddhists, and a couple of Orthodox Jews and four or five Roman Cats, a couple of Protestants. I wouldn't say anything different what I'm going to say. What I'm going to say is this. If you don't know where you go when you die, you're reading the wrong books. There's a book that can let you know where you go when you die. You say, I don't believe that. Well, if you don't believe it, you haven't got any sense. And the proof you haven't known any sense is the fact that you don't know. You ask your fellow, where you go when you die? You don't know. Why don't you know? I mean, the idea of a 20th century intelligent, educated man not knowing where he's going when he dies. What kind of a crackpot are you, man? Why, there are people, in this, uh, people here in this church, 10, 11, 12 years old, know where they're going when they die. You say, well, they're just kids and this and that. No, you got that thing wrong. John was a grown man, and John said, These things have written unto you that believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know you have eternal life. So you got that wrong. Simon Peter says, Knowing I must short, shortly put up this tabernacle, the Lord has showed me, and I've got an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for me. So you got that wrong. You see, Paul said, I know whom I have believed. I am persuaded as able to keep that child of community against that day. You got it wrong. That's your problem. David said, I'm going to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Job said, I know my Redeemer liveth, and the latter day you shall stand upon the earth, and I shall see him. It isn't just the ten-year-old kids. See? Now, that Bible is the only book in the world that lets you know for certain where you're going to go when you die. And if you don't know where you're going for certain when you die, there's something wrong with your bookshelf. Now, if you have uh, the Koran by uh, uh, Muhammad, supposedly, then of course you can't know for sure where you're going when you die. All you can do is hope. If all you've got at home is a bunch of missiles and a bunch of the writings of Thomas Aquinas and Thomas Akempis, of course you can't know where you're going to go when you die. They didn't know either. If all you've got at home on your bookshelf is a bunch of books by a bunch of liberals like uh, Norman Vincent Peale and Harry Emerson Fosdick and Eugene Carson Blake and Sockman and Oxman and Weigel and Weatherhead and that bunch, of course you can't know for sure. You can hope for the best. But religions don't teach you can know for sure. If you're a Buddhist, you get rid of your karma by following the Noble Eightfold Path and then hope you make it after a few reincarnations. If you're a Confucianist, you keep the Analects and you obey your parents and reverence the spirit of your ancestors and you hope for the best. If you're a Roman Catholic, you find the Church of Christ founded, at least according to what they tell you, and then you take the sacraments and hope for the best. If you're a Protestant, you keep the Golden Rule and the Ten Commandments, so much you're able, and hope for the best. If you're a Bible-believing Christian, you trust what Christ did, and you know. And that's the difference. Now, some of you people think I'm just talking. Why don't you try me for size? If you think I'm a hot air expert, why don't you try me out? Why don't you just quit trusting your righteousness this morning and trust Christ's righteousness and see what happens? I got sick and tired of these bull shooters, always worried about preachers shooting the bull. If you think I'm a bull shooter, what kind of a bull shooter you are, are you, and you won't even try what I tell you to try. If you think I'm wrong, why don't you try me out? 